moving on from that one, I want to quickly talk about this. This is courtesy of Hypebeast regarding these ambush Nike Air Force Ones. Obviously, you know, Yoon from Ambush has been going through a bit of a madness, especially when it comes to Kanye deciding he wanted to, you know, let everybody know what he thought about her personally, which I think was pretty disgusting. And obviously something you shouldn't be doing, especially somebody you once referred to as a friend. But oddly enough, these unfortunate instances do have a way of kind of getting the public's attention back on you again and maybe highlighting and reminding people what you actually do. And apart from, you know, being attractive and maybe being the the apple of some guy's eyes is helps to kind of be mentioned because usually i think when some guys go out of their way to mention who some woman fucked or something or allegedly fucked it's usually i feel like a an insecurity thing because they didn't get to do it so they're like you know it's kind of like them in a way it's kind of them um dissing the guy and also dissing the girl like how dare you fuck him over me and how the hell could you fuck her before i did you know that kind of thing as crass as it sounds i think that's usually the thing with it. but anyway it doesn't matter um more attention being brought to her designs and one of the interesting things i think about this is that these air force ones that are going to be i guess releasing soon is there more information here on the hype beast uh, article here no real idea on date but essentially you got these two um ambush designed nike air force ones uh which have essentially taken on the same sort of design elements that she did for the dunk that i thought were pretty well done because oddly enough i thought they did really well because those dunks kind of look like jordan's i think that's what people thought but i thought they elonged um the the extended sorry swoosh that popped out to the side that looked like it was made of rubber or something so that was pretty cool so there's no chance of it kind of falling off or flapping down or looking weird this heel tab mud guard thing at the back was really interesting little design element added onto it but i think it worked better of course on a dunk because everything felt like it was a little bit it, you know it felt like it was um pinched in and zoomed out a little bit it kind of felt a little bit like an off-white um mock-up but i still like the fact that it was kind of similar to what she was kind of doing the only thing i would have said was a maybe of a little bit thing i would have added onto those dunks maybe it was to make the soles a bit thicker it, those soles are maybe crying out to be double stacked or something because maybe because i remember those dunks maybe come out at the same time the dr martin Jaden boot came out the double sole boot so maybe i'm thinking that but maybe a thicker sole would have gone a long way to change but overall she did pretty well with those and i'm happy with the nikes i think they look pretty decent but if anything maybe a little bit redundant a little bit tired this sort of like um execution maybe she could have done something more interesting especially when it comes to an air force one um i feel like the air force one you know is maybe a model that's been flogged to absolute death and maybe we need to give it a break but if you're an ambush and you're you know doing what you do maybe being given the keys to the um nike design studio you should maybe be doing more interesting things when it comes to silhouettes and maybe choosing more challenging silhouettes maybe trying more interesting and you know and out there things and be more creative and um, that's what i would say with those i'm not really the biggest fan of these but talking about not being the biggest and even the, you know there's other colorways too here in the black and the white that look pretty decent um if you're into that kind of thing but again for me they're not for me but talking about footwear and being interesting the ones that really stand out for me from ambush are these that were featured in the spring 2023 collection right and that's the thing i think is interesting because i think essentially what kanye was getting at saying you know ambush stuff is weak because i've kind of said the same thing myself i'm not really the biggest fan of the clothes she makes and stuff but because mostly i feel like every season just changes theme and direction completely there's nothing that really ties any or any of the stuff that she does together which might be the point but it feels a little bit schizophrenic it feels a bit like it feels like a your instagram discovery page i think there's a couple brands that do there's another one called like number 21 i think that shows that milana does a similar sort of thing it feels like they always kind of design based off uh going on their discovery page and seeing what's trending see what people are on and this kind of feels the same it's sort of like a y2k sort of vibe and if you know you know most metropolitan cities or even just on your social media you see a lot of kids especially gen z kids tapping into that kind of 2000s trends of wearing really gaudy clothes and you know go faster glasses and really bright colors and you know flares and all this kind of stuff right and loads of denim and obviously this kind of collection really jumps on that and kind of exemplifies it and does it in her own way but that aside the interesting part for me is the footwear 
these boots that have been featured in there are absolutely banging because of course they remind me of my own pair of shoes i've got these new rick boots that i'll actually yeah i want to put i'll actually put a picture up on here so you can see them my actual boots that i own my own new york boots that i've been wearing for many years i always wear them to raves and shit i'm a big fan of them and you know they're not the most comfortable boots in the world but i love them for stomping around in raves and these look like a the the fashion alternative which will probably end up being a bit lighter a bit easier to wear way more expensive than my new rocks don't get me wrong but in terms of the look they look absolutely incredible and that's a, and that's what makes me think about that nike collaboration why i think it's a waste of opportunity because clearly this lady is incredibly creative and knows what she's doing in terms of creating cool footwear and silhouettes and stuff that people want or just clothes that people want because you know as derivative and as kind of trendy as this stuff is this will absolutely sell out hotcakes especially if it's priced adequately or in the same section that people buy this sort of stuff would want to buy it and even the glasses right um especially what you see happen with balenciaga and bottega veneta and how they're smashing it in the eyewear thing that you, you could tell this would do really really well so all that stuff is clearly really great but these boots these new rock type looking boots are just incredible in my opinion obviously the outfits the styling is absolutely great on all of these looks but these boots i would wear in an absolute heartbeat and i'm really anticipating eagerly anticipating when these will absolutely come out um in terms of me being able to acquire a pair because i need them i really do like all these outfits uh when them these outfits here when all pink but essentially they're uh, a flip on ed even this this look here this is like you know perfect for what you'd see these kids wearing nowadays kids that go to parties like guthring and stuff will be wearing stuff like this right but those boots are absolutely banging and I love the little detail here with the metal on it. Like they look basically like an updated version of a New York boot, essentially. I think there's two different lengths. I think there's a length that goes just underneath your calf and one goes below the knee, it, as you can see here. I think that one there is the, just under the knee one. So I, feel, I guess there maybe is a male and a female version, maybe it looks like, but these are hard. Like, you know, I would wear the hell out of these boots, mate. Absolutely wear the hell out of these boots. And I'm really, really cannot wait to find out when they eventually do come out. So when I see stuff like this that she does, as cool as it is, I understand. But maybe the reason why Kanye would say, you know, your stuff is weak or that stuff ambush is weak is because they're only looking at the street weary type stuff. That's a little bit derivative and a little bit lacking inspiration, in my opinion. Because the dunks were great, but that, that was just a one time thing. Taking that same design, those codes and stuff and applying it to the Air Force One's a little bit tired. But when you know when actual creativity is required and you're meant to do something completely new and fresh on the runway look what you get from ambush absolutely banging i love those boots i really want those boots i'll do anything to have those boots um maybe even in this sort of outfit or all see-through um it looks like it's made of plastic or something i won't say plastic but what is it um obviously it's been embossed to make it look like a crocodile or leather skin but i'd say i don't know what the material is actually i couldn't even guess to be honest but it reminds me of the video that marcus is it marcus houston wore one time to an award ceremony yeah that kind of outfit on that hat's gonna be absolutely popular all over the place i can see ace of rocky wearing something like this i would obviously like to wear it myself but he's probably gonna end up getting it first and if you get it you look like a fucking beg so i'm just gonna say he's gonna get it but it's basically a bunny banner clava it looks absolutely incredible i'm sure that that'll do really really well when it eventually does come out um got a little dick dick little line here coming in down there i love that but the boots are just incredible man so maybe the women's ones go underneath the knees and the men's boots uh they go just above under the calf they come in white and black i guess this silver outfit is all me as well with the shorts i love the entire collection but the boots are just absolutely stupendous look at that look come on man you know i'd, I'd wear the fuck out of that you know i would but what, what look is that look number 21 like he, he looks like he's coming out of a video with jenny one or some shit that looks absolutely incredible i love that i love everything about it and i really want those boots so 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 badly oh no woman is wearing one see look even this fake cd player thing is pretty cool i'm assuming that cd player is probably a bag it's not an actual cd player that would be pretty cool if it did double up as a cd player but that absolutely looks incredible i want those boots so badly so let's see what happens hopefully um i'll get an idea when they come out soon i'm hoping they're also not a thing because sometimes you know fashion collections they'll debut stuff on the runway and then if no one buys it 
you know, um, from the stores and whatnot, they won't put it into production. So I'll put in orders for it. So I'm hoping people see it and put in orders for it. But I'm sure they will because this definitely kind of um, is on trend with what's happening now. People are in double sole boots. But like I said, I've been wearing my new rocks for years. So I'm always a fan of these flipping big stompers. Like you can obviously see me, you know, walking down the fucking streets of London and Berlin with these on, absolutely feeling myself and thinking I'm the absolute dog's bollocks. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to them. Like, imagine those boots with the Balenciaga Raver pants. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't play with me, guys. Don't play with me. So, yeah, hopefully those come out soon. But big up Yoon from Ambush. Ambush Spring 2023 looks absolutely incredible. I love everything about it. Like, so many great looks. Um, right on trend with what's happening nowadays with the whole Y2K Ray thing going on at the moment. But the standout thing is these boots. Look at them, man. They just look so, so good. No one can deny that. I'm all over them, right? Absolutely all over them. Like flipping salt and chips. You can't tell me anything different on that one. You can't tell me anything different. 